Hello everyone, so in the last lesson we looked at the three kind of intramolecular bonds. We said that you can get covalent, then we also said you can get ionic, and then lastly metallic. We said that covalent is typically between, or it's only between two non-metals, whereas ionic is between a metal and a non-metal. And then lastly metallic is just a single metal. Furthermore, we said that covalent is when the electronegativity difference is less than 2.1. Ionic is when it's more than 2.1. And then with metallic, we don't really look at that. Now, something that's very important is, okay, so just oh, one more thing. These are all called intramolecular bonds. Okay, intra and we call them bonds. And so those are the forces that are inside the molecule. For example, if you have water, I'm just going to use lines. We're talking about these bonds over here. Okay, or if we have, for example, hydrogen fluoride, we're talking about these bonds over here. But now in grade 11, we're going to talk about intermolecular. Okay, so it's a totally different kind of thing. It does not work for ionic and metallic. That's very important. Ionic and metallic only have intra, or the, there's no, you don't have to worry about intermolecular. Okay, that is very important. So let's take a look at the covalent intermolecular forces now. So I'm just going to show you a couple of intermolecular molecules, such as water. Now remember in our previous lessons, we've done the Lewis diagrams for these. How do I know that this is covalent? How do I know that this bond over here is covalent? Well, if we look on our periodic table, we can see that we have two non-metals, because remember hydrogen is actually meant to be over here on the right. It's in the wrong place. So we've got two non-metals, so that's great. And if we look at the electronegativity of hydrogen, it's 2.1. And if we look at the electronegativity of oxygen, it's 3.5. So if you look at the difference, it's 3.5 minus 2.1, which is 1.4. So that is, um, when that difference is less than 2.1, then we call it covalent. So these are covalent bonds. Now, if you've ever tried to boil water on a stove, you don't physically break the hydrogen from the oxygen because then your stove, or, or when you're boiling your water, you would have hydrogen flowing off there and you would have oxygen going off there. But in fact, what we have is we have water molecules that get boiled. How do we know it's still water? Because if you had to hold your hand above here, then when that water vapor hits your hand, it turns back into liquid water again. So we don't break these bonds that I'm showing you here. Those are called your intramolecular bonds, and you do not break those when you're boiling water. So Kevin, what do we break then? You actually don't break anything. What happens is you've got all these water molecules, billions and billions of them, floating around in your container like that and in the liquid phase there are slight forces of attraction between these different molecules okay they are not bonds it's just like magnets they're just attracting each other slightly and that attraction force is quite strong and that's why they stick together in the liquid phase but what happens and this is quite interesting if we can start heating up this pot okay so we've got our stove and we start heating it up, that water is going to start, obviously it's going to start heating up. And so what happens is that these water molecules, they start vibrating rather quickly. And what happens is that they start vibrating faster and faster and faster, and eventually they are able to move apart. So they are able to overcome these forces of attraction. Hear what I just said. I said they are over, able to overcome. I didn't say break because there's nothing to break. It's just an attractive force. So I said overcome the forces of attraction. I didn't say overcome the bond. And so these forces that we have in between separate molecules, so here's one molecule, here's another molecule, these are called intermolecular. In grade 10, we looked at the forces that were inside each molecule 
and those were called intramolecular. I hope you can see the big difference over there. So in summary, when you want to boil water, you are not breaking the hydrogen and the oxygen apart. You are separating the water molecules from each other by heating up the water until a such a point that we call the boiling point. And at that point, each water molecule has enough energy to move away from each other and go into the gas phase. But in the gas phase, they are still water molecules. And that's all I'm going to mention for this lesson.